Now in the next three videos, I am going to explain to you what happens in case of oversubscription. Let's take an example. Issue 10,000 shares at the rate 100 per share. Okay. Now, application 15,000 shares. Money payments application forty allotment thirty first call fifteen second and final call fifteen. Okay. Now if you look at the situation, the issue size was how much? 10,000. But the application which have been received are for 15,000. So in these cases where the application received are greater than issue size issue size is what the number of shares which were issued by the company it is said that there has been an oversubscription of shares okay so this is a case of oversubscription of shares now obviously there are certain options which are available to the company in this case option one is and let's say amount paid on application is equal to 50 and this amount will keep on changing as I take further example now the first option with the company is reject all excess application so the company says I got these 10,000 issue size I have received 15,000 but whosoever were the first 10,000 I will issue all the shares to these people and the ones who came afterwards I am going to reject their application so originally I mean when you had issued this you would have got this money so you would have made an entry on receipt as follows bank account debit how much you've got application for 15,000 shares each one has paid you 50 bucks right so you got 7,50,000 in your bank which is what 15k into 50 okay 2 on what account did you get this money you got this money on account of share application to share application account right but the problem is that out of this 7,50,000 there are two amounts one for 10,000 shares and the other one for 15,000 shares or rather 5,000 shares so 10,000 shares I was actually supposed to receive as share application at the rate of 50 or 500,000 on 5,000 shares at the rate of 50 which is 2,50,000 I have rejected the application so I have to refund this money right 
So the consolidated entry that you pass when you do this is share application is credited with 750,000 so obviously you have to debit it by equal amount. So you write share application debit 750,000. Now the breakup of this 750,000 as I did is that 5 lakh was actually due towards share application and this amount has to go to share capital account. So you credit share capital account and the balance money this 2 lakh 50,000 has to be refunded. So when this has to be refunded what do you do? You credit bank account because you will be making the payment to these shareholders. The narration for this goes as being amount transferred to share capital account which is common and refund of excess application money to 5000 shares holders. So this was the first option that you reject all excess application. The easiest and the simplest one. Okay. Take some time to understand this. There is no rocket science. Whatever money you get, you credit to the share application account. Okay. Once you do that, then you bifurcate as to what is the amount actually which is the company is supposed to receive and what is the amount that has to be paid back. The amount to be received goes to the share capital account, the excess because I am paying it out I credit the bank account because there is a movement of funds out of the bank account so my asset is getting reduced I credit it. Okay.